Hi everyone and welcome. By now you know that Rebel 8 has been released and um, it's time to start learning how to use some of these new features. And I wanted to talk about the reflectivity and granulation modes that are available now. And in order to get started with this, you're going to want to go to the visual settings. And visual settings is found on the layers panel and you'll want to select visual settings or the shortcut is F12 key. This will allow you to um, upload your own reflectivity patterns uh, or, you know, for metallic materials. And this can basi basically be customized, again, using your visual settings, um, where you can select either the default texture or, again, upload your own. So I have provided you with some reflect reflective uh, granulation textures that you can use. Um, and explore and then also you can create your own remember that they need to be 1024 by 1024 PNG and go ahead and select select at least 300 um, PPI for this size and you should be good to go but let's go ahead and take a look at that um, first of all what we're going to do is uh, we have our visual settings open and we're going to go down You'll, you'll see this nice, tidy little visual setting now, which I, I love because it gives you that opportunity to kind of condense things and keep things organized and a little more uh, real estate on your screen, which is nice. So metallic materials is what, what we're going to be looking at here, and we're going to select that. And um, let me expand this down a little bit. And most of you are very aware of how to use metallic materials, remembering that it has to be used on a layer, and that's important to remember. And we also want to make sure that we select the metallic material layer or label it as such, so we know that it's a metallic layer. Now, you can use uh, any brush for a metallic layer, but in Rebel, uh, under the tools, oils and acrylics. If you come down, you're going to find a special uh, brush category called metallic brushes. And I'm just going to go ahead and select one here. This happens to be the flat. And this brush, uh, when I start to paint, I'll just pick a color here. Uh, you can see that it's got some nice uh, reflection to it, some nice quality to it. And let's talk a little bit about this. Let's go a little bit deeper into this. So again, you can um, uh, choose a reflection map by selecting this drop down, and you can either go with the reflection map pattern one, or you can upload your own custom image. Okay, so that's important to remember. We'll go ahead and select that because I want to show you what, so you can see that I have a few reflection maps that I've created for you, and you can use these uh, to have some fun with. And uh, you'll also notice that they're all in grayscale, which is important because you really want that high contrast between light and dark and everything in between as you're starting to build these up. And I'm going to start by uh, selecting this one called Test Reflection, and you can take a look at it and then open. And you'll notice now that it is has been added to the test to the reflection map uh, category and you can see it's test reflection map. And so when I paint with it, and I'll make the brush a little bit larger here so you can see this, you can see that it has a real interesting uh, reflective, reflective quality to it, metallic look to it. And I can adjust that by working with the reflectivity and you can see how that changes, how powerful it is, how strong. It really gets blown out at that far end to the right. But then as you come back to center, um, and then you can go to the scale and work with that, and then the strength of the reflectivity. So notice how it changes. And I'll zoom in a little closer here so you can see this a little better. So you can see how that reflectivity changes as I move the strength slider. You can also use your space key on your uh, keyboard and move it around like this until you find something you like as well. So that may be more of what you're looking for. You can also lock the reflectivity. So locking this 
And if I choose now to move it with a space key, you'll notice that none the reflectivity stays, um, stays the same. It doesn't change. And that may be exactly what you want. You, you don't want any changes. So I think you're really going to enjoy this, uh, making your own reflectivity uh, maps. And then, of course, uh, playing with, uh, you know, different brushes. Uh, a lot of times I'll, you know, let's try a round brush here and see what that looks like. And, of course, you can use different colors and get different effects uh, What based upon what you're looking for. Um, you can also explore going into the um, some of the nice um, uh, flat brushes. For example, the thick brush here. And let me use a nice, let me clear this out. And you can see that that is, has a lot of impasto to it. It's very reflective in quality. And you can also open the brush creator and use this as a bristle brush as well. And you can see the difference there. So this is very, very powerful. And I think you'll uh, really have a lot of fun exploring um, using bristle brushes with metallic materials as well. All the same features apply, meaning paint through paint and blend to uh, blending and then erasing. Of course, I can erase as well. And you can see how you can erase uh, with this reflectivity maps enabled as well. OK, what else did I want to show you here that's important? Um, the other thing you can do here, which is something that uh, we have talked a lot about going forward, and I'll go into a little bit later, is coming over here and choosing this option here. And it's called Layer Settings. And it gives you that ability to highlight a layer with a color. So for example, I'll select this green. And this kind of is just a visual showing you that this is a, uh, just as a note, it's a, um, a metallic material layer. And I have it selected. And the nice thing about this is I can, in, I can also control the reflectivity from this layer by coming down to this reflectivity. And you can see that I can bring it down. So making it a little softer, you can just customize it to your heart's content wherever you think it's appropriate. And the thing to take away from this, the most important thing with reflectivity here on the layer settings is this is per layer. OK, so for example, I could add another layer. I'll make this a metallic layer as well. Go back to that thick brush and start to paint here. Maybe get something a little heavier. And notice as I go over that layer, you can see the difference in the reflectivity. OK, so this is much softer on this layer and this is much harder. But if I wanted to soften this even further, on a new layer, note what happens. It's not affecting the layer beneath, only affecting the layer that I'm on. OK, so this is just wonderful stuff. OK, really important uh, to remember. And um, you can also uh, you can also adjust the impasto depth also. And this is also layer by layer. So if I wanted to bring the impasto down to where it wasn't quite as heavy as it is, again, I can do that on the layer that I'm on. I can go back to this layer, adjust the reflectivity, bring the impasto depth down, and control that as well. Again, all layer by layer, not affecting anything above or below the layer that you're on. So this is really important. So this will get you started working with the metallic materials and the new ref reflectivity uh, maps. And you know uh, you can try some of the, the ones that I'm going to provide for you. And you can also, of course, make your own. OK, so have fun with it. Take care.